What's up, boat doers? I'm armed with a barcode scanner and not afraid to use it. We just got these babies over here set up at Stealthy Wood, and our products don't have barcodes yet. Barcodes help companies stay organized by giving employees the ability to quickly scan those barcodes to perform various functions in the warehouse, like receiving, picking, packing, and more. So join me as we look into the ways that you can add barcodes to the products in your database so that you too can have a warehouse full of scannable products that are ready for barcode based efficiency. So to get started, let's take inventory of what we already have going on inside of our database. Now you see what I did there? We're using these, well actually we're using all of these Netum 1D USB scanners. And that means that I can scan linear barcodes if I have a device that I can plug a USB into, which my laptop happens to be such a device. To learn more about choosing and setting up a barcode scanner, check out our barcode basics video that I'm gonna link below. Now the barcode application, which you see right here, is installed when you install the inventory app up here. So chances are, if you have products in your database already, you also probably also have the barcode application. We actually don't even need to activate anything in settings to start using barcodes. So first let's jump into the inventory application, and then we're gonna select configuration and settings. We need one handy feature. So let's actually scroll down over here to our barcode section. And we're gonna tick the box next to star barcode stock barcode database. And we're gonna save. So what does that do? Well, this lets Odoo connect to a database and automatically fill in information about products that you scan that are using GS1 standard barcodes. Now, once that you save, we're ready to add our barcodes. If you have products that already have barcodes like this, sorry for the ASMR, garden veggie straws, well, you're actually in luck because we can use the barcode scanner over here to input them even from the inventory application. So I'm gonna select products up at the top and then products once again. Now I could look up an item, like one of my products that I wanna add a barcode for, or I can click on one of these, but I'm gonna show you a quick little nice visual shortcut slash time saver. Okay, so here we are in an empty product form. Now I want you to remember a barcode scanner is secretly just a keyboard, which means I could use it to enter text into any field in Odoo. So I'm gonna click on this barcode field over here and you see what I'm getting at? I'm just gonna give this a quick scanneroo. I'm gonna do it without even looking at it. I had to. Odoo not only added my barcode, but it also added this handy image, our actual product name, a price, and all of this description for us. Now, of course, I could also type it in with my actual keyboard, but who wants to do that when you have one of these and with what you just saw me do? Like that was a lot of time savings. If we are going to type in all of our barcodes, we probably won't want to do it one product form at a time. It's gonna take a long time no matter what. So to get a list of all my products with the barcode field, over here at the top, I'm gonna to select configuration and then once again, settings. You can take a sec to load us in right there because we're saving a brand new product. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down once again to our barcode section and we're gonna select configure product barcodes over here. Okay, so now I have a tidy list of all my products with their reference properties, which is where we here at Stealthy Wood have added our stock keeping units or SKUs. If I already had a barcode for this uh, drawer over here, I could just click into here in the barcode section, scan the barcode and that would be that. And if I wanted to use official GTIN barcodes for the products that we have here at Stealthy Wood, we would need to register each product with the GS1 organization. Odoo does not generate those on its own, but we're still a small operation here. So this internal reference that we have right there is where we put the product SKUs. We can use these as our barcodes as well if we wanted to. So to copy the reference that we have over here for this drawer, if we're gonna use it, we would just Kind of highlight it right there and like that we have it in and now our drawer has a barcode but wait i can hear you guys asking me jose is there a way for us to copy that reference over to all of the products barcodes all at once without having to do them one at a time why so doers indeed there is we can do that through the power of imports so to get started with that i'm going to select products up at the top and then products once again Great, we have a Kanban view. We're gonna go into list view and then we're gonna select our nice little settings change icon over here. And we wanna make sure we only have internal reference and barcode selected. And there's gonna be a reason for that. I did that ahead of time. If you haven't, do that. 
So once that we do all of this, we also wanna filter out all the products that already have barcodes. So I'm gonna select inside of our search field, add a custom filter where it says ID, we're gonna start typing in B-A-R and select barcode. We're gonna change this equal to is not set and we're gonna select add. Some items disappeared. Why? Well, that's because now that we've done that, we have a list of only the products in the database that don't have a barcode value set. Now let's export this. I'm also gonna tick this box over here to the left of product name. It's gonna select all of the items that we have. We have 40 selected here, as you could tell, just by that. Now we're gonna select our nice little actions button and select export. Ooh, nice little intimidating area. We also need Odoo to update the correct products when we import our changes. So to do that, I'm gonna tick the box in the top left here that says I want to update data. Now we need to have three things in our export. And that happens to be, the SKUs happen to be in the internal reference property. We also have the blank barcode property and the name property as we have over there so that we know what product we're updating. Lastly, I'm gonna change my export format over here to CSV. Both formats will work, but this one is a little more versatile, so I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna hit export. To modify the values, I need to use a spreadsheet program. Here, I'm actually using Google Sheets, but Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice Calc will work just as well. I'm gonna select file, and then we're gonna select import over here. I've already gone ahead and uploaded it, so we don't really have to do much. But once that we're inside of here, the very first thing we need to do is under import location, we're gonna select insert new sheet, import data, and away we go. I'm gonna drag some of these columns to be a little bit more open, just so that our visibility is a little bit nicer. I don't like when they get cut off. A little bit more, all right, perfect. Now that we're done with that, if we take a look over here at our first column. Now the ID column is the identifier Odoo uses to make sure we update our existing products with new barcodes instead of making new copies of all these products in the database. Over here where it says name, this column is our product names. And the default code that we happen to have over here is, well, that's the SKUs that we currently use for products. It was called internal reference when we were in Odoo. Now in column B, well, this is where our barcodes will go, which we can see is blank. And I could just copy and paste those over, but there's a more magical way. In the first empty cell for barcode, let's type in equal. We're gonna click inside of default code's first empty one over here. And then we're going to hit enter. And would you look at that? Now we have this nice autofill option and voila. Just like that, all of our barcodes have been covered. All right, now that we're done, we're actually going to select right here where it happens to say product, and then we're gonna hit rename. We're gonna name this one as barcodes. Okay, now that makes it a little bit easier. And let's also rename our spreadsheet to make it easier. Stealthy Wood barcodes? No, that doesn't work for us. Products. Okay, we're done with both. Now finally we can go download this. So let's go over to file and download and we're gonna download this one. This time again a CSV. So back inside of Odoo, I need to upload this file to make the changes. I'm gonna select products up at the top and then products once again. I'm gonna change the view over here to list view very quickly and you'll see why in a second. Now we're gonna select this gear icon next to products and we're gonna select import records. Now I'm gonna click the upload data file option over here and we're gonna take our product barcodes that we have. Awesome. Okay, so here Odoo gives us a preview of how each column of the spreadsheet is going to get converted to a value in the Odoo database. Everything looks good to me. Very cursory look. So I'm gonna select import in the top left. And with that, our whole inventory has barcodes as you can tell. Ah, there you have it, Odooers. Three different ways to give the products in your inventory their very own barcodes. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Till then, keep scanning.